want to turn now to some Illinois congressional races. Yeah, we're going to show you uh, some of these races that we're going to be watching uh, tonight. And uh, Leslie, let's bring you in on this because it's interesting, especially in the in, in our area. There really is not a Republican, uh, you know, <laughs> giving them a challenge. What's happened to the Republican Party in this area? So. Uh, it really it comes down to the legislative maps and how they're drawn. And we hear the, t the term gerrymandering come up everywhere. Um, I've mentioned it before, gerrymandering pushes Democrats into one area, Republicans into another area, and it makes it uncompetitive for a challenger to run in many of these areas. And we certainly see that in the city of Chicago and even in broader Cook County. Um, I, I ran for state representative a number of years ago. My, I live in Lincolnshire up in Lake County. My district included Wheeling, um, it went up, it skipped Libertyville, it cut out part of my own town, it went all the way up to Waukegan. Um, it was not reflective of the district that I lived in, which is kind of a center independent, maybe center right district. And um, it's now dominated by Democrat legislators because of the way these maps have been drawn. Cook County is dominantly blue, um, the legislative maps favor Democrats, it's expensive, it's time consuming, and um, a waste of time for In Republicans. In the past, though, there have been some R's who've been challenging. You know, uh, I know Sean Kasten has had a couple of uh, challenges, Lauren Underwood's been challenged, but this time around, short of District 17, um, it seems like the D's are going to walk it. There's, well, there's a race in the 10th in Lake County uh, where Jim Karras is running against Brad Schneider. It'll be interesting to see what happens there. Um, there's actually some interesting races in Lake County broadly that Republicans are in that um, might bring some life back into the Republican Party in Lake County. Mm. But it's, it's challenging to be a Republican in the state of Illinois. It's the, the way the maps are drawn, it's very hard to win elections. Well, we have someone with us now who knows that all too well. Yeah, let's bring in former U.S. Representative from Illinois, Rodney Davis. <laughs> I don't know uh, if you could hear the conversation they were having. We were, Leslie Munger was talking about the gerrymandering and how she feels that it impacts how districts are drawn in favor of Democrats. So. Uh, first, if you could speak on that before we talk about what you are looking for tonight. First off, Madam Comptroller, it's good to see you again. And uh, you are 100% correct when it comes to uh, talking about gerrymandering in, in Illinois. Um, you look at these congressional races and uh, the host is right. The only race that really is going to be a, a competitive race, I, I hope, is going to be in the 17th district. Um, Democrats uh, took advantage of their super majorities in the House, the Senate, and Governor Pritzker. And they did what uh, many Republicans did in, in other states run by Republicans, and they drew congressional districts that got rid of Republicans and increased their Democratic majority. Um, I'm out. I'm, I'm in Washington, D.C. for the first time on a general election night in my lifetime. And uh, I'm actually enjoying the peace and quiet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I know Congress misses you and a lot of folks in Illinois because you were ranked as, I think, the most bipartisan lawmaker in Congress when you were there. But that's another issue for another day, Rodney. Tell us what you're expecting tonight nationally. What do you think is going to happen? Well, it's interesting. Uh, you look at what uh, Donald Trump and, and his team are able to, uh, to tout as an accomplishment in Georgia. Uh, it's looking good for him there tonight. I'm interested to see as the count continues in North Carolina. If Donald Trump loses North Carolina, I think his path to 270 becomes a lot more narrow. Uh, but if he wins both of those states and is able to do a sunbelt sweep, um, then you look to Pennsylvania. Uh, the initial numbers coming out of Pennsylvania don't look as well for Republicans, but that could be because most of them are coming out of the Philadelphia media market where Democrats traditionally okay we lost you there for a second but uh, actually we we are going to go to a cut in here for our viewers actually on TV watching CBS national coverage thank you Rodney there for joining us